My name is Sarah Foden. I'm the Cadbury archivist here at Mondelez International. I've been with the company 27 years now. Cadbury was founded in 1824 by John Cadbury, who basically set up a shop in Ball Street in Birmingham. This was really successful, so he started manufacturing on a commercial scale in 1831. John retired and basically then became Cadbury Brothers. The site was too small, Birmingham had grown, they needed to move somewhere else. And they settled eventually on Bourneville. They bought 14 and a half acres of land and built a new factory. We've got some cans of Fry's cocoa, which actually went with Scott on his last Antarctic expedition. We've also got a Bass's licorice all sort box in the archives, which is signed by all of the Beatles. The Cabra Brothers were very big in providing recreation for their workers because they felt that this gave them the best working life possible. So um, there's the men's pavilion on the cricket ground. Uh, this is still used today. It's now the home to a, um, a new employee gym inside. We have a, a concert hall here, which was built in the 1920s, which we still use today for internal talks and, and presentations. So there were things like choral societies, operatic societies, amateur dramatics. So it would have been used regularly for productions from all of those sort of people. We still have a strong um, health and wellbeing ethic here. Because we're surrounded by quite a few parks and things, it's very easy to get out at lunchtime and go for a walk. Um, and you honestly wouldn't think that you're only four miles out of the centre of Birmingham. People resonate very much with the brand. It's a brand that people really love, especially within the UK. Um, and that's shown by the number of heritage inquiries that we get.